here and today we have a strength cardio and abs workout so we're gonna have eight moves of strength eight moves of cardio and then eight moves of abs in that order it's gonna be no repeat going at your own pace I'll be using 10 pound and 15 pound dumbbells today but remember to use whatever weight is best for you every exercise will be 50 seconds on with 15 seconds rest during those 15 seconds we'll have a preview box we can see exactly what the next movement is as well as a mod box just in case that moves a little bit too much for you today and remember that every move or every day is different so make sure you listen to your body remember if you guys want to work out with me one more time each week become a member of my channel by clicking join and yeah all right let's get warmed up all right guys, let's go ahead and get warmed up. So we're gonna start out with our feet wider than hip width and we're gonna reach side to side. So you'll feel a nice stretch in that side body. It can be pretty intense, so just make sure you are breathing along with this. I like to inhale, come up, and then exhale, reach and bend over to the side. You can go slower if you want to. Let's go one more each side. Last one. And while our feet are out wide, let's go ahead and have our hands on the hips. Say hello to Ricky. Hi. <laughs> nice flat back and go with some hip circles. So push that booty behind you. And act like you're going underneath a bar. And let's go ahead and go with the other side. Other way, other rotation. Keeping that core nice and strong. You should feel this in those hamstrings especially. And let's go ahead, come up and shake it out. We're gonna go with some butt kickers. Remember, you could always step it out instead if that's best for your body today. Every day's a little bit different and that's totally okay. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job, go ahead, shake it out. We're going to step a, or your left leg back, sink down into this lunge, arms out, and then reach side to side. So we're warming up that right leg as we also get into those shoulders and those arms. If it's too much, remember you can come up quite a bit. That's totally okay. And let's go ahead and switch sides. Nice job, make sure you keep on breathing. Go for four, three, two, one, maybe a little bit longer. I'm like, ah, I'm doing that thing where you go to the other side and you don't do it as long. I'm not a fan. <laughs> Let's go for three, two, one. Hands down to the ground, step that foot back. From here, we're gonna press into that down dog. So shift those hips up and then go ahead and pedal the feet out. Very strong in those Arms, really thinking about pressing palms and fingertips to the ground. And let's go ahead and shift forward, bring the knees down to the ground, and we're gonna be right here. Now, if you need to bring a mat here for your knee, feel free. I'm gonna bring my right leg out to the side and we're just gonna shift to the side. So you're gonna feel that in the inner thighs, outer thighs, which feel pretty nice. Starting to get those hips open so that way when we do movements, we can get into the full expression of the movement. And let's go ahead and go to the other side. One side might feel a little bit tighter. This one is definitely feeling it a lot more today. <laughs> oh, joy. <laughs> let's go one more. And now we're going to bring our backs down to the ground. Let's get those glutes. So let's lay down. Feel free again to use a mat if that's best for you. We're gonna press the hips up into a bridge and then go ahead and step it out. Making sure we're really pressing into, especially the heel of the stabilizing foot. You don't have to lift your legs as high as me if it's not for you today. Those glutes should start to feel it. And let's go for four, three, two, last one. Nice job, all right. Plant it down to the ground. We got small crunches, little baby ones to warm up that core. That body should really start to feel a bit warmer. Really think about pressing that belly button into the ground. We're not coming up all the way. We got two more, last one. 
Again, go ahead, make your way up into a standing position. Feel free to use your hands if you need to. We're gonna start to get that heart rate up. So jumping jacks or jump less jacks. That is gonna be up to you and your body. And my cats have been very playful with each other, so I'm very happy about that because Lincoln was looking rough for a while. Um, so if you hear some ruckus, that's them playing. Four, three, two, one. Nice job. Stabilizing on that right leg. Let's go with some semicircle swings. Keeping the core nice and strong. Bend the knee slightly, sink down maybe a little bit. Then come up maybe a little bit. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> yeah. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So we're working those stabilizers. Such little rascals now. Nice job, guys. Three, two, one. Nice job. Go ahead, shake it out. We are going to finish out with some skaters, some lateral movement, and some cardio. So go ahead and step or jump to the side. Hover that back foot if you can, or if you need to step it down, that's okay. Once again, feel free to step it out. That's better for you today. Really start jumping out. All right, let's go for four, three, two, one, and let's get started. All right, guys, 15 seconds. We have standing triangle with an arm pulse. So remember to stick with the modification if that's best for you. I'm gonna start out with my legs out wide, and then I'm gonna place my right hand on the ground. Right leg is gonna kick out. All right, so right leg down, left foot pivots, come down, press, and switch. Come up. Make sure you come up in between, resetting that body. Feel free to take the press out if that's not for you today. Keep it up. And press. Nice full body strengthener. It's gonna feel kind of like cardio. Step some mobility, nice strength. And finish it out, guys. Five, four, three, two, and done. Okay, so next up, alternating back lunge and curl. I'm gonna grab my 15 pound dumbbells. So I'm gonna try to curl at the bottom. It's more time under tension for the legs, but modification is curling at the top. So back lunge, curl, and step. Try not to curl those toes. Once again, this is gonna to start to feel like cardio. Keep it going. Twenty seconds. So notice I'm leaning forward a little bit. That's gonna make sure I target my hamstrings and glutes a bit more than if I were to um, have my chest up. Okay, next up is wide rows. Give my grip a little break. Make sure you hinge forward, we're not squatting forward. Hinge forward, nice flat back. Make sure you're activating your core while you're doing this movement. I'm bringing my elbows out pretty wide. Squeezing my shoulder blades together. Remember, if your lower back jumps in, reset, shaky, shaky, squeeze the core, hinge, and come back into it. Neck is neutral. This one's hard. <laughs> this one I find super uncomfortable just because you really got to be mindful of that core. Not the most comfortable move. Four. Three, two, 
and done. Okay, walking push-ups is next. We just worked back. Now let's get into a little bit of chest. So you can stick with tricep push-ups like I did in the modification, or you can go wider like a regular push-up. I'm gonna walk over, push up, walk over, push up, I'm gonna face this way. Nice and strong in the core. Separate your feet wider for more stability if you need to. Neck is neutral. We're not chickens. <laughs> Keep it up, guys. Ten seconds. Three, two, and done. Okay, so you should have really felt that in the chest, in the front of the shoulders, core, quads. Next up, we're gonna do side lunge, curchy, curchy, curtsy, pogo. I'm gonna grab my 15s to come with me. Step over, curtsy, pogo. Over, curtsy, pogo. Take a nice little break in the air when you're doing that pogo to really focus on stability. <laughs> there they go, <laughs> Lincoln. I'm so happy they're playing. It was such a stress. Three, two, and let's go ahead. We're gonna go the other side. Nice little break. Grab some water if you need to. Whew. Okay, so let's grab it and let's go. Side lunge. Curtsy. Now one move might be more challenging on one side. It's okay. Twenty seconds. Up. Oh God. Last ten seconds. Last few reps of each. And done. Okay. So let's put the weights down. We have a crab walk next, and I understand that's not available to everyone to actually walk. So feel free to do that modification where you stay in place. Fingertips facing out. Make sure you're not shrugging the shoulders. Really activate. We're getting the triceps here. We're getting hamstrings, glutes. Getting shoulders. This is a really awesome move to know if you're going down a slippery hill, you go down feet first. Life skills, baby. <laughs> Keep it going, guys. Ten seconds. for more stability. I feel like I can activate my core better. Extend up. Keep it up, guys. They are so playful. <laughs> 
Oh. <laughs> Keep it rocking, guys. This is great. This is entertainment. I wish you could see it. Almost there. Whew. That was great distraction. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, and done. Okay, so moment all you've all been waiting for. <laughs> we have cardio now. Yay! Okay, so we're gonna start out with step side swings. And I'm gonna have it in my right hand to start out with. I'm gonna swing and move to the left. So swing, step, step, swing, step, step, swing, step, step, swing, step, step. So if I'm walking to my left, I bring in my outer foot first. Is that more confusing for you to try to figure out? Just keep going. Remember, if I can do it, you can learn it. Remember, this is a hinge. Lean forward, bending the knee slightly, flat back. Squeeze that booty. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and done. Okay, jumping jack burpee. All that means is we're just gonna, just gonna add a jumping jack. <laughs> okay, all right guys, three, two, one, let's go. Down, up, jumping jack. This is the safe zone, so it can't get you. <laughs> Keep it up, guys. Twenty seconds. together. It'll make the squat touchdown more fluid when you jump your feet out. Thirty seconds, guys. Now, everyone's hips are different. So, 
If this doesn't feel right for you, then feel free to adjust, maybe turn your left foot out more. Everyone's hips are different. Nice job, guys. seconds. Finish it out. Last 10. Uh, squeezing my butt, coming in that standing plank, squeezing my core. Three, two, one. Okay, this next one's mean. Oh, it's traveling mountain climbers. I, I just, I just don't like mountain climbers, <laughs> but sometimes I do them. <laughs> sometimes I do them because they help me to strengthen my mental gains. <laughs> sometimes you just have to push past discomfort. Again, I'll tell you when to switch. We're gonna go 25 seconds on one side, 25 on the other. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Back is flat. Up. Take your time. It's not about speed. sides. Keep going, guys. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. So now we are on to core. So I'm gonna grab this mat. I'm gonna grab my weight. Because we have Russian twists to start out. Remember to keep your feet planted if you have lower back issues. Back is flat, chest is up. Breathing, inhale, exhale. I like to exhale every time I twist. Keep it going, guys. We're doing so good. Okay, so next up is a side view. 
Now when you do this, you want to think about having your feet angled slightly in front so you're not like a stick. Okay, this hand is gonna help press yourself up, then there's gonna be negative space underneath your armpit. I like to cross my legs if I'm staying on one side. I find that it can I squeeze my legs a little bit together and I really hit those top obliques. Keep it going, guys. Use that breath. Almost there. Ah. <laughs> 10 seconds. <laughs> Five. Three. Two. Oh. Okay. Other side. <laughs> Today is a struggle for me, I think, just mentally. Whew. Whew. It's okay. Oh, sorry. Sorry for the noise. Try my best of what I have today, and that is good enough. <sighs> I think it's important to remember we're not like, you know, we see inspirational videos of athletes and like it's super awesome, but also remember that's their job, <laughs> you know. Whew. They have a whole team of people helping them mostly, most of the time, so. Best not to compare yourself to them. Keep it up, guys. Four, three, two, one. Ooh, okay, dumbbell leg drag under. So I'm gonna grab my 15 pound dumbbell. If you can't drag it because you're floor and you don't wanna like scratch it or something, I understand. So just lift it a little bit and just use a lighter weight. Right hand is taking it to the right, left to the left, keeping my hips as straight as possible, keeping my hands under my shoulders. So that's a huge thing is try to not shift your hips as much as you can. Yes, there will be some shifting, but try to keep it to a minimum to really take advantage of this movement. are like in winter it can be hard to want to move so I just want to say that I'm really proud of you for showing up and like moving and getting out of bed because I know a lot of people struggle with that so totally get it um but yeah be proud of yourself take a moment to just like be proud of yourself in those moments where you just push past discomfort even if it's just getting out of bed I think that is a great success up and then slowly come down. This is a very, very slow and controlled movement. Take your time. Think about coming up one vertebrae at a time and coming down one vertebrae at a time. Take your time. You have time. 
We're so much in a rush all the time. Hi, Ricky. Are you a troublemaker? Oh, hi. <laughs> he doesn't like my smell right now. <laughs> I wouldn't either. one hand and then press back. You can. Intermediate's going to be pressing back with both hands at the same time. Remember, if you can only reach your shin or your knee or your thigh, that is okay. bird dog because some people have they got the big bobos I don't <laughs> which I'm okay with but um you know it's not really comfortable to do this move for some people uh, neck is neutral uh, uh. keep it going guys last move Went by pretty fast. <laughs> Woo. Keep it going. Finish up, guys. Lower back strengthening part of the core. Oh, ha! Done! Done! All right, guys, so this is going to go off one more time, but um, oh, I got a little bit darker. So if you do need to go, please do like, comment, and subscribe. All of those things really help out my channel um, so, so much, as well as sharing. If you guys want one more workout with me per week, you can become a member of my channel. It's next to the subscribe button that says join, and it's really fun. So let's get cooled down together, and yeah. All right, guys, come on down to the ground. We are already there, Kat. Okay, so we're gonna come into tabletop position. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. From here, toes are gonna be facing forward. Bring that right leg to the right. And if this is enough, you can stay here. If you want a little bit more, press those hips back and come forward. So you're adding a nice little flow to it. If you really wanna feel this for the inner thighs even more, press that right foot in the ground. A little activation there. And let's go ahead and we're gonna switch sides then. And one side might be different, so if you need a modifier where you don't add the flow, that's okay. And let's go ahead and bring it back. We're going to come up and we're gonna bring that right foot to the right again, the gate pose. So we're gonna bring our left arm up and over to the right. So you should feel this in the hips and the side body. You might be able to go down way farther than me. And then slowly come up. I said gate pose. I know some of you are like, what did she say? <laughs> gate. Breathe, and go ahead and bring it back to center. Nice job. Woo. Okay, let's come back into a tabletop. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Walking those hands forward onto the fingertips. Go ahead, bring your chest as close to the ground as you can. Relax the head. 
You can add some movement here. And from here, we're gonna keep our left hand where it is. You're gonna take your right hand and then go ahead, swoop it out to the left. Look under that left arm. Twist. Breathe. Really pressing in the right palm on the ground still. And to get out of this very gently, take your left hand and, and bring it towards your head. Press yourself back up. <sighs> take a nice breath there. <laughs> All right, let's bring that right hand forward. Now swoop the left arm under. Little twist. Breathe. Rest your head on the ground. Go ahead, slide that right hand to the head, press yourself up. Nice job. Let's go through a few cat powers here. So inhale, pull that chest through, pop the booty. Exhale, tuck the chin, the chest, round the back. Inhale, pull it through. Exhale, tuck. Inhale, pull it through. And last one, exhale, tuck. I feel like what is that sound? It is Lincoln slurping his water. And go ahead and come up and let's go into a crisscross applesauce. We're gonna have a nice tall spine here. Right hand to the left knee, left hand and back. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, twist and turn. Look over that left shoulder. Breathe. And very gently uh, bring it back to center. A few shaky shakies, I like to reset here. Oh, there it is again. Okay, left hand to the right knee, right hand and back. One more, inhale, tall. Exhale, turn. Breathe. And go ahead and slowly bring it back to center. Nice job, shaky, shaky. We're gonna head into our guided mini meditation. It only takes about a minute. Really, really awesome to set the minds and our intentions for the rest of the day. Um, feel free to lay down if you want to. Okay, nice tall spine if you're here with me. Palms facing up, close the eyes if that feels right for you. Big inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Another one. Inhale through that nose. Exhale through the mouth. Go ahead with whatever breath is best for you. Nice tall spine. Breathing. Today we're going to think about how we can be kinder to ourselves. Think about one intention that you want to set for yourself today. Is it maybe when you look in the mirror, usually, you know, you pick apart what you don't like. We can't stop thoughts, but we can follow up with positive ones and give power to those thoughts. Just like reps and exercise makes us stronger, it takes reps of positive thinking and thoughts to ourselves to strengthen that type of muscle too. So maybe is it following up with that positive thought about yourself? Is it taking an extra glass of water before you go to bed? Maybe not then before your meal? Is it going to bed earlier so you feel more refreshed in the morning? Is it taking five minutes for you time rather than our workout together? Because you're always taking care of other people. Some of you are parents and that is so, so much of a challenge. Is it getting back to your morning routine? Set an intention for yourself today. 
to add a little bit of extra kindness to yourself because you are just as important as everyone else. You are so worth it. You are so enough right now as you are. Go ahead, big inhale. Exhale. One more big inhale. Exhale. Go ahead, slowly open those eyes. Pass those hands in front. Pull the shoulders in. Big inhale up. And exhale. Rush, 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 rush. We are done for today, yay! Maybe that made some of you emotional. I felt it at the end, so I feel like that's gonna hit a lot of people. It hits me too. So I hope you do add that kindness to yourself today and every day really, but you know, you can just start today if you haven't already. Even if you've gone 50 years without, it's never too late to start. We did it! You guys did it. We completed our crazy, awesome strength cardio and abs workout for the day. Thank you guys so, so much for joining me. Please do remember to like the video before you go. And also comment, let me know maybe what your intention was at the end with our meditation, which section was the most challenging for you today. And if you can't think of anything else, feel free to put a palm tree because going outside on a beach sounds really nice right now while we're in this winter. Um, rather than that, if you guys do want to support my channel, I have a link down in the description. Rather than that, remember you can join my channel if you want to work out with me one more time each week. And it also supports my channel and you also get access to exclusive things like custom emojis for my channel. More are coming the, on the way, so I'm really excited about that. Um, if you guys do love my outfit, it is from Women's Best. And if you want to treat yourself to a new outfit with Women's Best, feel free to use my support link in the description, as well as using the code CAT20. That'll get you 20% off your entire purchase. I will see you guys soon. Have an amazing rest of the day. Don't forget to join, become a member, and yeah.